In this project, we'll show you how to build a simple thermal camera. This little thermal camera can sense the surface temperature of nearby objects and displays them as a colorful heat map. This Adafruit breakout features a grid eye sensor and it uses an 8x8 array of IR thermal sensors that can return 64 individual temperature readings. Temperatures are rendered in real time and are displayed as different colors to form a heat map. The code is running off an Adafruit Huzzah ESP32, which is fast enough to process and render the temperature data. For this project, I'm using the demo code from Adafruit, which is included with the Arduino library and it supports different microcontrollers. I put together a wiring diagram for this project in our learning guide, along with the assembly instructions and source files so you can remix and modify. Once I had the prototype up and running, I started designing an enclosure. I made the camera body in Fusion 360 to house the electronics and designed separate pieces that will snap fit together. This CAD explosion shows how all the pieces are assembled and will fit together. The electronics are stacked and secured to the cover, which then slides into the camera body. The sensor is mounted to the lens cover and fits into the frame. All of the parts are of course 3D printed in these very 80s colors, which I got from Melt Ink 3D. All of the electronics can be purchased from Adafruit. Once we have everything in place, it's time to get building. I started by cutting up some wires and hooking them up to the breakout. Then I soldered them to a strip of male header pins, and this will make it so I can plug them directly into the display. The feather fits over the headers on the TFT feather wing, and then I started plugging in the header pins from the sensor. I mounted the sensor to the little lens cover and secured it in place with machine screws. I just had to make sure the actual lens of the sensor lines up with the small hole in the center. The feather and TFT are placed on the back cover and secured with additional machine screws. Then I tack the battery to the back of the display so it's held in place. I needed to orient the screen with the sensor before putting it all together, so I had to play around with it a bit to just match them up. The lens cover is press fitted into the frame and just snaps together. The edges of the back cover is then installed to the camera body. The top and the bottom covers are fitted over the body and it holds the whole assembly together nicely. These little nubs lock onto the sides of the body, making a pretty secure fit. This project wouldn't look as cute without these stickers from Pyramoni. So this sensor is actually pretty accurate and can measure temperatures ranging from 0 to 80 C. Obviously this sensor is a great way to add heat vision to your DIY projects and I hope this inspires you to check them out from Adafruit. The product page also claims it can detect a human from a distance of up to 7 meters, so that's good to know. Designing the camera body was a nice exercise in 3D modeling, and now I have yet another cute project to add to the list of the many awesome projects on the Adafruit learning system.